Imagine facing tremendous challenges and adversity only to emerge stronger and wiser on the other side. What if you could tap into an ancient source of wisdom to guide you through life's trials and tribulations? Today, we're going to explore the teachings of a great Roman emperor and philosopher Marcus Aurelius and discover how his timeless wisdom can help us build resilience and inner strength in the face of adversity. Marcus Aurelius, a renowned Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, is often referred to as the philosopher king. Despite being one of the most powerful men in the world during his time, he faced numerous struggles and hardships, from political upheaval to personal loss. Amidst these challenges, he penned his deeply introspective and insightful book, Meditations, as a means of self-improvement and reflection. Comprised of his personal thoughts and observations, this iconic work has inspired countless individuals over the centuries, providing guidance on how to live a virtuous and fulfilling life. In today's fast-paced and often uncertain world, resilience and inner strength are qualities that have become more important than ever before. We're constantly bombarded by change, whether it's in our careers, relationships, or personal lives. But what if we could learn to navigate these changes with grace and wisdom, transforming adversity into an opportunity for growth and self-discovery? This is where Marcus Aurelius's meditations comes into play. As a Stoic, Marcus Aurelius believed in the importance of cultivating inner virtues and practicing self-mastery. He believed that by focusing on the things we can control, our thoughts, emotions, and actions, we can overcome external circumstances and maintain a sense of balance and equanimity. In essence, Stoicism teaches us to be the architects of our own happiness and well-being, regardless of the challenges we face. What can we learn from this great philosopher? In this video, we're going to delve into the pages of meditations and uncover 10 timeless life lessons that will help us develop resilience and inner strength. These lessons will not only provide practical advice for managing difficult situations, but also inspire us to cultivate a more resilient mindset in our daily lives. By applying the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, we can become better equipped to handle adversity, grow from our experiences, and ultimately lead a more fulfilling and contented life. As we journey through these 10 lessons, we'll explore the importance of controlling our thoughts and perceptions, accepting what we cannot change, focusing on the present moment, cultivating humility and empathy, and much more. Each of these lessons is grounded in the Stoic principles that Marcus Aurelius espoused and practiced throughout his life, offering a roadmap for navigating life's challenges with resilience, wisdom, and inner strength. Whether you're facing personal struggles, professional setbacks, or simply looking for guidance on how to lead a more balanced and fulfilling life, the teachings of Marcus Aurelius can serve as a powerful source of inspiration and wisdom. Lesson 1. Control your perception. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. Our perception of the world around us shapes our reality. It influences how we react to situations, how we interact with others, and ultimately, how we feel about ourselves. Marcus Aurelius's quote serves as a powerful reminder that we need to be mindful of our thoughts and perceptions. By recognizing that our interpretations of events are not absolute truths, but rather subjective perspectives, we can start to take control of our emotional responses and thought patterns, leading to greater resilience and inner strength. Controlling our thoughts and perceptions begins with self-awareness. It's essential to monitor our thoughts and identify when we may be engaging in negative or unhelpful thinking patterns. Once we become aware of these patterns, we can actively work to replace them with more constructive, rational perspectives. One practical tip for practicing this skill is to engage in daily mindfulness exercises. Mindfulness involves focusing on the present moment without judgment, allowing us to observe our thoughts and emotions as they arise without becoming overly attached or reactive. By practicing mindfulness, we can develop greater self-awareness and learn to recognize when we need to shift our perceptions. 
Another technique to help control your perception is to challenge your thoughts through cognitive restructuring. This involves identifying any negative or irrational thoughts, then actively questioning and replacing them with more balanced and rational alternatives. For example, if you find yourself thinking, I'm a failure because I didn't get that promotion, try to reframe the thought as, I may not have gotten the promotion this time, but it doesn't define my worth or abilities, I can learn from this experience and continue to grow professionally. Finally, surrounding yourself with positive influences can also help you control your perceptions. Seek out friends, mentors or role models who embody the values and attitudes you want to cultivate within yourself. Engaging in uplifting conversations and activities can help reinforce a more optimistic and constructive mindset. In summary, controlling our perceptions is a crucial step in building resilience and inner strength. By practicing self-awareness, mindfulness, cognitive restructuring, and surrounding ourselves with positive influences, we can train our minds to see the world through a more balanced and constructive lens. This shift in perspective can empower us to overcome adversity and face life's challenges with greater confidence and composure. Remember, as Marcus Aurelius wisely stated, our perceptions are not absolute truths, and we have the power to shape them to our advantage. Lesson 2. Accept what you cannot change. Accept the things to which fate binds you, and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. One of the most powerful lessons Marcus Aurelius teaches us is the importance of acceptance and letting go of what we cannot control. This is a fundamental principle of Stoicism and a key aspect of building resilience and inner strength. When we learn to embrace the unpredictability of life and accept circumstances beyond our control, we can focus our energy on what truly matters, our thoughts, emotions, and actions. Acceptance allows us to make peace with the present moment and find contentment despite life's inevitable ups and downs. By letting go of our need for control, we free ourselves from the burden of worry, anxiety, and frustration, making it easier to navigate challenging situations with grace and wisdom. To adopt this mindset, start by recognizing the aspects of your life that are beyond your control. Make a list of situations, events, or circumstances that you have no power over and practice accepting them as they are. This exercise can help you become more aware of the difference between what you can and cannot control, allowing you to let go of any unproductive attempts to change what is out of your hands. Another helpful technique is to practice the art of non-attachment. Non-attachment involves acknowledging and appreciating the impermanent nature of life. By understanding that everything is transient and subject to change, we can develop a more balanced perspective and learn to accept the natural ebb and flow of life. When faced with a challenging situation, remind yourself that this too shall pass and try to approach it with an open heart and mind. Meditation can also be a valuable tool for promoting acceptance. By setting aside time each day to quiet your mind and observe your thoughts and emotions, you can develop a greater understanding of your reactions to life's challenges. This increased self-awareness can make it easier to recognize when you're struggling to accept what you cannot change and help you shift towards a more accepting mindset. Learning to accept what we cannot change is a critical aspect of building resilience and inner strength. By practicing awareness, non-attachment and meditation, we can develop a more balanced and accepting perspective on life. Embracing this mindset not only enables us to face adversity with grace and wisdom, but also allows us to appreciate the beauty and richness of life. As Marcus Aurelius so eloquently expressed in his quote, Accept the things to which fate binds you, and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. Lesson 3 Focus on the present moment. Do not dwell in the past. Do not dream of the future. Concentrate the mind on the present moment. 
Marcus Aurelius emphasizes the importance of living in the present moment and not allowing ourselves to become consumed by the past or future. By concentrating our minds on the here and now, we can experience life more fully and develop a greater sense of inner peace and contentment. Focusing on the present moment has numerous benefits, including reduced stress and anxiety, increased self-awareness and improved mental well-being. When we practice mindfulness and being present, we allow ourselves to truly engage with our experiences and emotions instead of being constantly distracted by past regrets or future worries. This heightened sense of awareness enables us to gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and our environment, fostering personal growth and self-discovery. One way to develop the habit of being present is by engaging in mindfulness meditation. This form of meditation involves observing your thoughts and emotions without judgment, allowing you to become fully immersed in the present moment. To practice mindfulness meditation, simply find a quiet space, sit comfortably and bring your attention to your breath. As thoughts and emotions arise, acknowledge them without judgment and gently guide your focus back to your breath. This practice can be done for as little as five minutes a day and can have a profound impact on your overall well-being. Another technique to help you focus on the present moment is to incorporate mindful activities into your daily routine. This can include practices such as mindful eating, where you savor each bite and pay attention to the flavors and textures of your food, or mindful walking, where you observe your surroundings and the sensations of your body as you move. By integrating mindfulness into everyday activities, you can develop a greater appreciation for the present moment and become more in tune with your thoughts and emotions. Consider setting aside time each day for reflection and self-assessment. Journaling can be an effective way to process your experiences, emotions and thoughts, helping you become more aware of the present moment. By reflecting on your day and identifying patterns in your thoughts and behaviors, you can gain valuable insights that can help you stay focused on the present and make more conscious choices moving forward. Lesson 4. Cultivate humility and empathy. Whenever you are about to find fault with someone, ask yourself the following question. What fault of mine most nearly resembles the one I am about to criticize? Humility and empathy are essential virtues for building resilience and inner strength. They help us develop stronger relationships, create a more compassionate mindset, and foster greater self-awareness. Marcus Aurelius's quote serves as a reminder that before we judge or criticize others, we must first reflect on our own imperfections and strive to understand the experiences and feelings of those around us. Practicing humility involves recognizing that we are not infallible and that we can learn from others regardless of their status or background. By adopting a humble attitude, we become more open to feedback and personal growth, enabling us to overcome challenges and adapt to new situations more effectively. To practice humility in your daily life, Make an effort to listen more and speak less. Pay attention to the ideas and opinions of others and be open to the possibility that you may be wrong or have something to learn from them. Additionally, be willing to admit your mistakes and take responsibility for your actions. This willingness to be vulnerable can help you grow as a person and develop a more resilient mindset. Empathy, on the other hand, involves putting yourself in another person's shoes and trying to understand their feelings, thoughts and experiences. This ability to connect with others on a deeper level can help you navigate difficult situations and foster stronger relationships, ultimately making you more resilient in the face of adversity. To develop empathy, practice active listening when conversing with others. Give them your full attention and strive to understand their perspective without judgment. Ask open-ended questions to encourage deeper sharing and show genuine interest in their feelings and experiences. Volunteering or engaging in acts of service can also help you build empathy. 
Helping others, especially those in need or facing challenges, can provide you with a greater understanding of their experiences and emotions, fostering a deeper sense of compassion and empathy. Humility and empathy are key components of building resilience and inner strength. By practicing active listening, engaging in self-reflection and participating in activities that foster compassion, we can develop a more empathetic and humble outlook on life. Lesson 5. Practice Gratitude When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. Marcus Aurelius reminds us of the power and importance of gratitude in our lives. By focusing on the blessings we have and appreciating the beauty of life, we can foster a more positive mindset, enhance our well-being, and build resilience in the face of challenges. There are numerous benefits to embracing gratitude. Studies have shown that people who regularly express gratitude experience increased happiness, improved mental health, stronger relationships, and even better physical health. Grateful individuals tend to be more optimistic, have lower levels of stress and anxiety, and are better equipped to handle difficult situations. To integrate gratitude into your daily life, consider starting a gratitude journal. Each day, write down three things you are grateful for, no matter how big or small. This simple practice can help you shift your focus from the negative aspects of life to the positive enabling you to recognize and appreciate the good things that are often overlooked. Another way to practice gratitude is to express your appreciation to others. Take the time to thank friends, family and colleagues for their support, kindness and understanding. By acknowledging the value of their contributions to your life, you not only strengthen your relationships, but also reinforce your own sense of gratitude. Additionally, make a habit of reflecting on your achievements and accomplishments, as well as the challenges you've overcome. Recognizing your personal growth and the lessons you've learned can help you appreciate the journey you've taken, fostering a deeper sense of gratitude for the experiences that have shaped you. Mindfulness can also play a role in developing gratitude. By paying attention to the present moment, you can notice the small joys and pleasures that often go unnoticed such as the warmth of the sun on your face or the laughter of a loved one. By savoring these moments, you can nurture a greater sense of gratitude for the simple gifts life has to offer. Practicing gratitude is a powerful way to enhance your overall well-being, foster a positive mindset and build resilience. By maintaining a gratitude journal, expressing appreciation to others, reflecting on personal growth and practicing mindfulness, you can develop a deeper sense of gratitude for life's many blessings. Lesson 6. Embrace adversity as an opportunity for growth. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. In this powerful lesson, Marcus Aurelius teaches us to view adversity not as an insurmountable obstacle, but as an opportunity for personal growth and self-improvement. By shifting our perspective on challenges and setbacks, we can develop greater resilience and inner strength, allowing us to overcome even the most difficult situations. Challenges can be opportunities for personal growth in several ways. They can help us build new skills, gain valuable experience, and learn more about ourselves and our capabilities. Additionally, overcoming adversity can foster a greater sense of self-confidence as we recognize our ability to navigate difficult situations and emerge stronger on the other side. To reframe adversity as a chance to learn and grow, start by adopting a growth mindset. A growth mindset is the belief that our abilities and intelligence can be developed through dedication and hard work. When faced with a challenge, ask yourself what skills or knowledge you can acquire from the experience and how it can help you become a better, more capable person. Another technique to help you embrace adversity as an opportunity for growth is to practice reframing negative thoughts. When encountering a difficult situation, 
Try to identify the negative thoughts that arise and consciously shift them into more positive, empowering statements. For example, if you find yourself thinking, I'll never be able to handle this, reframe it as, this is a challenging situation, but I can learn and grow from it. You can also seek inspiration from the stories of others who have overcome adversity and achieved personal growth. Research the lives of famous figures, read biographies, or listen to podcasts about individuals who have faced significant challenges and used them as stepping stones to success. These examples can serve as a powerful reminder of the potential for growth and transformation that lies within every obstacle. Lastly, consider seeking support from friends, family, or professional counselors when faced with adversity. Surrounding yourself with a supportive network can provide valuable encouragement, advice, and perspective, helping you to view challenges as opportunities for growth rather than insurmountable barriers. Embracing adversity as an opportunity for growth is a key component of building resilience and inner strength. By adopting a growth mindset, practicing reframing, seeking inspiration, and leaning on a support network, we can learn to view challenges as chances to learn, grow, and become better versions of ourselves. Lesson 7. Be guided by reason. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Marcus Aurelius highlights the crucial role that rational thinking and logic play in our overall happiness and ability to overcome adversity. By guiding our thoughts and actions with reason, we can make more informed decisions, manage our emotions more effectively, and navigate challenges with greater clarity and resilience. Rational thinking is important in overcoming adversity because it enables us to objectively assess a situation, identify potential solutions, and weigh the pros and cons of each option. By approaching challenges with a logical mindset, we can minimize the influence of impulsive emotions such as fear or anger, which can often cloud our judgment and lead to poor decision-making. One way to develop rational thinking is by practicing critical thinking skills. This involves questioning assumptions, evaluating evidence, and considering alternative viewpoints. When faced with a difficult situation, take a step back and ask yourself what assumptions you might be making, whether there is sufficient evidence to support your beliefs, and if there are any alternative explanations or solutions that you may have overlooked. Another strategy for cultivating rational thinking is to engage in regular self-reflection. By periodically examining our thoughts, beliefs, and actions, we can gain a deeper understanding of our motivations, biases, and thought patterns. This self-awareness can help us recognize when our thinking may be influenced by emotions or false assumptions, allowing us to redirect our thoughts toward a more logical and reasoned approach. It's also important to practice emotional regulation as strong emotions can often interfere with rational thinking. Techniques such as mindfulness meditation, deep breathing exercises can help you manage your emotions more effectively, creating the mental space needed for clear, logical thinking. Finally, consider seeking out opportunities to learn and develop your problem-solving skills. Engage in activities that challenge your mind such as solving puzzles, playing strategy games, or participating in debates. These experiences can help sharpen your logical thinking abilities and enhance your capacity to approach adversity with reason and clarity. Being guided by reason is a vital component of overcoming adversity and building resilience. By practicing critical thinking, engaging in self-reflection, managing emotions, and honing problem-solving skills, we can develop a more rational mindset that allows us to navigate life's challenges with greater clarity and success. Lesson 8. Cultivate inner peace. The soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. Marcus Aurelius emphasizes the profound impact our thoughts have on our emotional state and inner peace. Cultivating inner peace is essential in building resilience and maintaining emotional balance as it allows us to navigate challenges more effectively and maintain a sense of calm in the face of adversity. 
Inner peace is important for several reasons. First, it helps us manage stress and anxiety more effectively. When we are at peace with ourselves, we are better equipped to handle the pressures and uncertainties that life inevitably presents. This emotional balance can help prevent burnout, reduce the risk of mental health issues, and promote overall well-being. Second, inner peace allows us to think more clearly and make better decisions. When our minds are not clouded by emotional turbulence, we can approach challenges with a greater sense of clarity and focus, allowing us to develop more effective solutions and strategies. An effective way for cultivating inner peace is engaging in activities that bring you joy and relaxation. This might include spending time in nature, pursuing hobbies, or connecting with loved ones. Prioritizing self-care and nurturing activities can help replenish your emotional reserves and promote a sense of balance and tranquility. It's also essential to develop healthy coping mechanisms for managing stress and negative emotions. This might involve practicing deep breathing exercises or engaging in physical activity such as yoga or walking. These techniques can help release tension and restore emotional equilibrium. Lastly, consider adopting a regular gratitude practice as discussed earlier. By focusing on the positives in your life and expressing gratitude for the blessings you have, you can foster a more optimistic outlook and cultivate a sense of inner peace. Lesson 9. Practice Detachment. Attach yourself to what is spiritually superior, regardless of what other people think or do. In this lesson, Marcus Aurelius encourages us to practice detachment from external events and circumstances. By focusing on our inner values and spiritual growth, rather than seeking validation or fulfillment from external sources, we can develop greater resilience and inner strength. The benefits of detachment are numerous. Detachment allows us to maintain a sense of equanimity and emotional stability, even in the face of adversity or challenging situations. It also helps us avoid becoming overly attached to outcomes, possessions, or the opinions of others, which can lead to stress, anxiety, and disappointment. To cultivate detachment in daily life, Begin by becoming more mindful of your thoughts and reactions to external events. Pay attention to how you respond to situations and practice observing your emotions and thoughts without becoming overly attached or identified with them. This increased self-awareness can help you recognize when you may be overly invested in external circumstances and make a conscious effort to shift your focus inward. Another tip for practicing detachment is to regularly remind yourself of the impermanent nature of life. Recognize that possessions, relationships and circumstances are all subject to change and that seeking lasting happiness from these sources is ultimately futile. Instead, strive to find inner contentment and fulfillment by focusing on your personal growth, values and spirituality. Developing a strong sense of self and knowing your core values can also help you cultivate detachment. When you have a clear understanding of what truly matters to you, it becomes easier to let go of external factors that may not align with your values. Spend time reflecting on your core beliefs and use them as a guiding force in your decision-making and actions. Lastly, Engage in regular spiritual or reflective practices, such as meditation, journaling, or prayer. These practices can help you deepen your connection to your inner self, promoting a sense of detachment from external influences and fostering a greater focus on personal growth and spiritual development. Practicing detachment from external events and circumstances can be a powerful tool for building resilience and inner strength. By cultivating mindfulness, embracing impermanence, understanding your values, and engaging in spiritual practices, you can develop a sense of detachment that allows you to navigate life's challenges with greater grace and equanimity. Lesson 10. Keep moving forward. Do not indulge in dreams of having what you have not, but reckon up the chief of the blessings you do possess and then thankfully remember how you would crave for them if they were not yours. In this final lesson, Marcus Aurelius 
emphasizes the importance of perseverance and forward momentum in overcoming adversity. By focusing on the blessings we already have and maintaining a growth mindset, we can continue to progress and evolve even in the face of challenges. Perseverance is crucial in overcoming adversity because it enables us to push through obstacles, learn from setbacks and keep moving toward our goals. By maintaining a forward momentum, we can build resilience and inner strength, as well as develop the skills and experience necessary to navigate future challenges. To maintain motivation and a growth mindset, start by setting clear, achievable goals that align with your values and passions. By having a clear vision of what you want to achieve, you can stay focused and motivated, even when faced with obstacles or setbacks. Break your goals down into smaller, manageable steps and celebrate your progress along the way to maintain motivation. Another suggestion for maintaining motivation is to practice self-compassion. Recognize that setbacks and challenges are a natural part of life and treat yourself with kindness and understanding when you encounter difficulties. By cultivating self-compassion, you can maintain a positive attitude and stay motivated to continue moving forward, even when faced with adversity. Additionally, surrounding yourself with supportive and like-minded individuals can help you maintain motivation and a growth mindset. Seek out friends, mentors, or support groups that share your values and goals, and draw inspiration and encouragement from their successes and experiences. Finally, take time to regularly reflect on your progress and accomplishments. Acknowledge the obstacles you've overcome, the skills you've acquired, and the growth you've experienced along the way. This reflection can help you maintain a sense of forward momentum and inspire you to continue pushing through challenges and pursuing your goals. Maintaining perseverance and forward momentum is essential in overcoming adversity and building resilience. By setting clear goals, practicing self-compassion, surrounding yourself with support, and reflecting on your progress, you can maintain motivation and continue moving forward, no matter the challenges life may present. We have explored 10 powerful life lessons from Marcus Aurelius's meditations that can help us build resilience and inner strength. These lessons have offered us invaluable insights into controlling our perceptions, accepting what we cannot change, focusing on the present moment, developing humility and empathy, practicing gratitude, embracing adversity as an opportunity for growth, being guided by reason, cultivating inner peace, practicing detachment, and maintaining forward momentum. By integrating these timeless teachings into our daily lives, we can foster personal growth, overcome adversity, and live more fulfilling, purpose-driven lives. It is important to remember that building resilience and inner strength is a lifelong journey, and implementing these lessons takes time, practice, and dedication. As you continue to face challenges and setbacks, draw upon the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius and strive to embody the principles he so eloquently shared in his meditations. By doing so, you will not only become more resilient and resourceful in the face of adversity, but will also discover a greater sense of inner peace, purpose and fulfillment. As we part ways, I encourage you to reflect on these 10 life lessons and consider how you can apply them in your own life. As you embark on this journey of personal growth and self-discovery, remember that the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius is a timeless guide that can help you navigate life's challenges with grace, wisdom, and resilience. In the words of the great Stoic philosopher himself, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. By incorporating these lessons into your daily life, you can positively shape the quality of your thoughts and cultivate the resilience and inner strength necessary to thrive in an ever-changing world. May you find strength, inspiration and growth through the teachings of Marcus Aurelius and may your journey towards resilience and inner strength be one of deep self-discovery, fulfillment and lasting happiness. <laughs>